What's up guys, Jared back, and we've got the Nexus 5 with Cyanogen Mod 11 running Android version 4.4.1. Um, first things first, of course, with the biggest update with 4.4.1 is the camera has been improved, so Google's implemented some different changes in the camera, so as you can see, uh, it's uh, focusing really, really, really quickly, no issues focusing on things whatsoever, right? Taking pictures is quite quick, bam! Bam, so that's really nice, and of course we can jump in, and you'll notice that we also have Photosphere, uh, but we can jump into, oops, that was the wrong one, we can jump into the uh, video recorder, and we can go ahead and record video, so that's all working, bloop, 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 as you can see, and of course, tap to take pictures, and that takes those pictures very, very quickly, which is really nice to see. Um, we do also, wait a minute, wait a minute, where is it? Where is it? Oh boy, we've got to switch back to the camera here, hang on a second, I'm looking for... There it is, HDR mode, bam. So we do have HDR mode uh, available on the Nexus 5, though I don't believe the HDR plus mode is available on um, like the Samsung Galaxy S4 and so on. But uh, anyways, as you can see, it, it's doing just a fantastic job of focusing. So no issues there whatsoever. Um, of course, we can, as you can see, if you do want to use the OK Google thing, you're gonna have to make sure that you have US English uh, enabled, whoops. Um, when I have it on US uh, Canada enabled, it didn't seem to work okay. So for example, OK Google, Okay, Google. <laughs> Vancouver connects. Though a little slow, it seems. The Canucks beat the Coyotes three to two. Right then. Okay, so they're a little bit slow, <laughs> but we're getting there, I suppose. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the settings. Oh, by the way, of course, pulling down the status bar, and you can change this in the settings down the road, but. Left, uh, middle or left side of the status bar, pull down, notification tray. If you pull from the right hand corner, brings down our quick toggles there, which is cool. Uh, also in the quick toggles, we do have the um, torch on and off, as you can see. So we've got the torch toggle right there, which is always convenient to have. Um, lock screen, everything as you would expect is there, uh, standard across the majority of all Sand Engine Mod uh, ROMs for all different devices. Jumping into interface, status bar, quick uh, settings panel, all the standard stuff that you would expect, uh, except for navigation bar, because this is a Nexus device, we have that nav bar down there at the bottom. So what we then do is tap the right hand corner to unlock. And as you can see down here at the bottom, we can go ahead and tap one of those and it brings up um, some different options for some different um, buttons that we can toss in there, which is really cool to see. Um, but I'm not going to be doing that at the moment. Uh, we also have quick launch shortcuts. So basically, as you can see, when you're swiping up from the bottom, um, at the moment you can you know just access Google. Uh, but if we wanted to, what we could then do is say, for instance, bring this up uh, slide on over to there and if we wanted to you could you know I don't know just let's say toggle torch so from that point on we would then skip on over to actually if we go from the home screen here drag on up you can see that the torch icon is there and then of course it turns on the torch so you can add for whatever it is that you want uh, which is pretty darn cool so I think if we scroll then it turns it off nice and convenient um, Boop, boop, we were in there, so yeah, so we've got all that. And of course, there's tons of different options for you to choose from. Uh, lots of different options, useful options, obviously. Uh, kill application, that would have been a cool uh, option. Um, backing out of there, jumping into sound, nothing really here um, to write home to mother about. Uh, display and lights, of course, if we go down, you do have the cast screen button, so you can mirror your uh, display to another compatible um, wireless compatible display, TV, whatever. Uh, pulse notification lights, so different colors for you to choose from from there. And uh, moving down to buttons here, uh, we do have the power menu and playback controls as well as uh, reorient volume buttons depending on the rotation of your screen. Um, jumping into more here, we just basically have launch music application or you know, ba basically when you toss in your um, headphones or auxiliary cable, um, it'll launch the predetermined music application of your choice. Uh, nothing really else to look at except for when we jump into about phone. Of course, you can see Android 4.4.1 and uh, for go down here and tap the build number a bunch of times back out of there that then expands and gives us the options or access to I'm sorry for performance as well as developer options so jumping into performance here this is where if you wanted to you can either with the stock kernel it comes with a sand engine mod 11 you can either underclock it if you want to so we can go into processor and of course you can type in what the uh, or dial in with the uh, minimum CPU frequency is if you really want to save battery life um, as well as the maximum if you want to bump it up of course just download a um, 
a uh, custom kernel, but it does at the point at this point in time allow us to go up to 2200 uh, megahertz or 2.2 gigahertz, if you will. So that's cool. That's nice to see, uh, as always. And of course, jumping into developer options, if you want to take advantage of the advanced reboot options, you do have to dump, jump into a developer options. Check the advanced reboot, so that way when you do happen to long press and you go to reboot, you are given the options for reboot recovery as well as bootloader, which is cool. Um, in addition to all that, we have. Where is it? There we go. Select runtime. So you can either use between Dalvik or the new art that everybody's super excited about, which I do have to, uh, you know, admit it. I, I did notice a difference or I have noticed a difference in performance overall. Um, <clears throat> of course, you also have kill app with the back button, but that can also be achieved through that um, sort of swiping up from there thing that I was showing you guys earlier. Uh, anyways, guys, the ROM is stable. Um, is it daily driver worthy? Um, I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. <laughs> it is a very, very new ROM. I know that some people are getting away with it as a daily driver right now. They don't expect everything to work. So if you do flash it, accept or expect some speed bumps uh, along the way. Uh, anyways, guys, I will be posting a link in the description below so you can go and download this for yourself as well as a link to GApp so you don't get caught flashing this ROM without any GApps uh, installed on the device. But that's it for now, though, guys. Thanks for watching as always. And if you like this video, click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.